Test cap is pretty, pretty special. I think every young kid wants to play test cricket, so to get that was pretty special. My mum and stepdad were there, so it was really nice that they could share the moment. I was 21, I was on the YCs in um, London and um, Phil Simmons, the coach, just rang me up and picked me for a four-day game against Namibia and then the week after against Canada. Um, yeah, so it was a bit of a surprise, but it's quite a nice dressing room to go into. A lot of the under-19 lads were in the squad. My brother was in the squad, so um, yeah, it was quite easy to kind of quite a comfortable place for me to play. So it was it was good in the end. Such a big moment for the country, really, and all the young kids in in Ireland. They they don't have to worry about coming over here and trying to make a career now. There's first-class cricket there. There's full-time jobs with through playing cricket. Um, so it's been amazing for people like that, um, younger kids, young young girls as well, which is even more important at, this, at, at the moment. So yeah, I think as long as they can keep it up, start winning a couple of games, that would make it even a bigger sport in Ireland. Yeah, I was on the tour already uh, to India to play Afghanistan. Um, and yeah, I, just a team meeting, the team came up and you get in your first cap, that was pretty amazing and the next day at training you're just trying to take it all in and then once the game started that first hour you, you're just trying to make sure you concentrate on your job really and stop thinking oh my word I'm playing, 20, I'm playing test cricket um, so it was it was pretty cool but it's all a bit of a whirlwind, the game was a bit of a whirlwind, we, we lost in three days but it was, it was still amazing really now to look back on it. Oh, there's a big outside edge. Yes, good low catch. Bowling wide of the stumps there, around the fourth stumps. There's a little bit of movement away from the batsman, searching for that edge. It's getting a thin part of the outer part and a very good low That's catch. Let's get up gone. The dangerous man gone for 67. It's Durham offered me a two-year contract, and then uh, Cricket Island director of cricket came over and had a meeting with me. And it was always looking quite positive and he said, I'll, I'll let you know if we're going to offer you a contract or not. Uh, ended up, they, they didn't offer me a contract. So the kind of decision was made for me, but I was always swaying towards Durham, just kind of now with the family and stuff. It's harder to travel and like the last couple of tours have been quite tough, like mentally. Um, so it was it was pretty much going to be Durham even if Ireland did offer me a contract um, but it was a tough decision, it's hard to leave Test cricket behind and go into World Cups and things like that but playing for Durham for me is um, one of my proudest moments in my career. It's when I first started, um, I actually changed over there next to Woody and Gordon Mitchell so that was a quite a pair to be next to, especially Woody, um, and then moved over here a couple of years ago and uh, we've got Graham Clark who sits next to me here, um, he's quite a good neighbour really, he's not too smelly or too messy and then we had Ryan Pringle here who was smelly and messy but obviously he's left and um, his best mates moved into his grave so <laughs> Ben Rains uh, moved in so new, new uh, neighbour for the next season so that could be um, interesting. But uh, yeah, it's a good spot here, you can watch the cricket and sit down and um, apart from all the lads like to kind of come over here and watch the TV when it's raining, and, but uh, yeah, it's pretty, I'm pretty happy in this spot. Yeah, it was a frustrating summer for me really, I obviously left out of the championship team and the one day team, which nobody really wants, but going to back to the second team, got some really good time in the middle, scored lots of runs. Um, and I felt that it kind of brought me on as a person, kind of helping out the young lads and uh, working with Alan Walker. It was it was really good and I scored plenty of runs and always felt in good nick the whole season. Just when I played in the first team, the few games I played in the T20s and things like that, um, just didn't take me opportunity really. Um, and I think that's one thing that I need to work on this, this winter apart from technical things, is when I do get my chance in the first team is to really take it with both hands. <laughs>